A family is shown at the beginning of the movie. There, a man named Hal resides with his wife and a son. Additionally, he enjoys playing 80s games. He often has an argument with his wife as a result. Later, when he enters his room, he has a game called Curse Greater Than R. The game starts automatically in the meantime on his PC, wherein Hal has been given some levels that he must pass. Hal is informed by the game that you are in a cage this time. If we take note of his life, hence the game was accurate, Hal was in fact in a cage. Hal is informed by the game that you cannot go after leaving the game. Later the game asks Hal whether he truly deserves to earn the given prize. Hal doesn't respond and kept the wine bottle on the table after drinking it. The game informs Hal later that you just have kept the bottle after drinking wine. Hal becomes shocked to see this. Later, the game asks Hal, do you need one more drink? Hal types, yes, I need one more drink. And soon a fresh glass bottle appeared on the table. Hal becomes more astonished as he observes this. The game later asks him if he wants the lights on or off. As soon as Hal types, yes, the room's lights turn off. The game later asks, Hal what you need now? Either your son's tongue or your wife's ears from them. Hearing this, he becomes confused and he doesn't respond. Because he found all of it to be pretty strange. But the game keeps asking to choose or die. Despite this, Hal starts to leave without responding. In the meantime, he starts to hear terrifying and strange noises. As he listens to them, he experiences earache. He returns outside later and discovers that his wife has removed their son's tongue. Because she is holding a knife. Despite this, Hal's wife claims she has no idea how this happened. Hal finds this to be shocking and perplexing as he observes. Later, we see the PC in the room in which it was written, the first level is completed. We learn that this game hits reality, and plays with people's lives. And after controlling people, it completes its levels from them. We see the scene after three months. There, Kayla was returning from the company after working her night shift. There she used to work, she he goes straight to her friend. He was a game inventor, he used to design games by himself. Here, we discover that Kayla was also fond of designing games. She was unable to do this as a result of her issues. However, she was skilled at fixing things. Her friend informs her that he has received numerous gaming-related items. She starts to watch that items, later, she discovers the game in the waste material. The curse greater than our game that we've seen at the beginning of the film. Kayla gets astonished to see the price of $125,000 on his cover. How is it possible for someone to give such a large sum of money after winning an old game? She starts to see the game's CD, in which a man claimed that you can really win money by playing this game. This man was one else but Hal, who we first saw at the beginning. Kayla suggests to her friend why not both of us win this game together. We'll divide the prize money in half as well. When he hears this, he responds alright, we'll play and win, but we'll discuss this later. Later, Kayla brings the game CD with her, after hearing this. After finishing her work today, Kayla entered a cafe. She opens her laptop while seated and starts the curse greater than our game. She calls her friend there, but he didn't reply to her text because he was really busy. On the other side, Curse Greater Than Our Game starts that asks Kayla, do you deserve receiving the prize money? The game then asks if you want cake or coffee. Later, Kayla discovers that the menu card also only offers two choices of cake and coffee. A waitress arrives, there with coffee. She becomes shocked to see this. Because she hasn't asked the waitress for the coffee, she'd only typed in the game. Later, Kayla witnesses what the waitress was saying, on the laptop, it was already typing. Later, the game asks Kayla for taking a break. Without saying anything, Kayla switches off the laptop. Later, everything in the area surrounding the cafe vanishes, and fog spreads. A boy comes to Kayla and tells her to choose or die. Watching this, Kayla becomes perplexed. She opens her laptop for taking a break and types yes. Later, the waitress of the cafe starts breaking the cafe's glasses. Later, the game asks Kayla if she should stop shattering glass or clean it. Kayla asks the game to clean the glass, the waitress later starts to eat the broken pieces of the glass. And she starts bleeding from the mouth. 
Watching this, Kayla moves toward her to stop her. The cafe's owner shows up in the interim. He starts making horrifying noises and odd noises, in a strange state. After pushing him aside, Kayla arrives to stop the waitress. On the laptop, we see the first level of the game was completed. When Kayla awakens the following morning, she spots a police officer, after arriving at her house, he was investigating her mother. Actually, the officer arrives at Kayla's home to investigate last night's incident at the cafe. Their talk reveals that the boy that Kayla saw last night because of the game, he was actually Kayla's brother. He had previously died after sinking in a pool. Kayla asks her friend, where did you get this game? But Kayla's friend doesn't have any idea, he says I recently bought this game for fun. But I'll surely try to search about this game. From there, Kayla departs for her night shift. While working, she abruptly gets a call from her mother at 2.00 am. She tells Kayla that rats are coming out of the wall. The rats attack her mom and we learn that there's a PC on this floor. The curse greater than our game automatically starts on that computer. Kayla suddenly walks up to the PC and notices that level 2 of the game has begun. As level 2 starts a game starts on the screen, in which a character needs to be rescued from rats by Kayla. This person was a woman, and this character was none other than her mother. Kayla hears her mother's voice. She was asking Kayla to save me from these rats. These are quite dangerous rats. Later, the game gives two choices to Kayla and asks her to move ahead. Now Kayla has to save her mom from that rat that was chasing her for a long. Kayla asks her mom to go near the window instantly, and jump from there. Against her will, her mom has to jump to save herself from the rats. Along with this, the second level also ends. The game informs Kayla that we will meet tomorrow night at the same time. As Kayla observes this, she rags and tosses the computer to the ground. She starts to damage it. An employee of the company shows up in the interim. She terminates Kayla from employment. Later, Kayla comes to her mom at the hospital. Because her mother suffers injury as a result of jumping out the window. That's why she was admitted to the hospital. She asks, my daughter why are you so worried? Is your work going well? Kayla doesn't tell her mom about her worries. Later, when Kayla gets home, she notices that, her house has been severely damaged by rats that have actually come here. In the midst of all, Kayla's neighbor shows up at the residence. After seeing such a condition of the house, he asks Kayla. That you will undoubtedly be expelled from this home by the owner. Kayla visits her friend at night and tells him about the game. That this game actually works. She shows photographs of her destroyed home. Her friend of Kayla, now believes in her after seeing them. Because of this, Kayla's friend agreed to go along with her in this game. She informs her friend that the game will begin at 2 am automatically. Except for this time, we can never start this game. Later, both of them after changing the codes of this game, they try to switch off the game and its sounds. After some time, it turns 2 am and the game automatically starts. They turn off the sounds of the game. But they couldn't turn off the game, because level 3 starts there. There we see that game learns that, Kayla's friend with her is going to play this game. Whatever Kayla's friend says the game types. During this, the game asks Kayla do you need her friend's help or not. At first, Kayla refused to accept her friend's help. Meanwhile, Kayla starts to hear loud sounds. She responds, yes, to the game later. This causes Kayla's friend to become perplexed as well. The game gives them the next level. Two doors suddenly appear in front of them. They were red and blue, respectively. They must select one from among them. They approach the doors and start to check them. They don't hear any noise coming from either of the doors. Kayla chooses the red door and goes in that. Later, her companion follows her and enters as well. Meanwhile, Kayla sees her brother there who died. While he was running there, Kayla started to follow him. Although her friend tried to stop her, she didn't stop. While running, Kayla and her friend arrive at a bridge. Kayla's brother abruptly appears out of the fog. He suddenly attacks Kayla's friend and he died as a result. She approaches him in the meantime, and the game asks her a question, do you need your brother alive or your best friend? Kayla realizes that this game is trying to trap her at this point. She still chooses her friend by laving her brother. And after coming to life, Kayla's brother attacks her. 
Kayla has to behead her brother as a result. Kayla is aware of this, and so are we. This all is happening in the game, not in reality Kayla knows that he isn't her real brother. She murders her brother for this reason. The third level comes to an end when Kayla's friend awakens. The following morning when they awoke, they discussed, at this point, Kayla was blaming herself for her brother's death. Because she always took her brother for swimming. One day, she deviates for a while and her brother died because of drowning. When Kayla's friend hears this, she attempts to explain to her, to forget whatever has happened, you have to forget yourself. During this, Kayla's friend begins to read a magazine. There, he comes to know about an 80s game. There, children used to play games for free of cost after hacking up the mobiles. They used to do this, so they don't have to pay mobile and games bills. They start gathering data about people because of this hacking. Kayla's friend after hacking a curse greater than our game reaches an address. They leave to reach that place. When they reach they see the door closed. Despite this, they enter inside by climbing up the door. Once inside, they discover a large hole. Kayla starts making calls to the number listed on the address. And there, the phone starts to ring. They follow the voice they arrive at a different hallway. They find a running tape recorder there. Later, they arrive at a room after following some cables. After finding the old luggage, they discover a disc called Curse Greater Than Our Beta. Kayla's friend plays this desk on the computer, which was quite old. They see the man who had designed this game there. Not only this, he is the host of this game. Later, Kayla's friend asks her to take this desk with them. Meanwhile, the game listens to them and it stars. Meanwhile, hey, game inventor arrives and says that you'll have to pay a huge amount for cheating. Later, the game traps Kayla's companion in an invisible chamber. The game inventor asks Kayla to choose replay a fast forward. Upon hearing this and observing her friend's condition, Kayla decides to choose fast forward. That tape reel starts to come out of her friend's mouth as a result of choosing fast forward. Although Kayla tries to stop it, she is unable to. After some time, Kayla's friend's health deteriorates, and then he dies. The fourth level is finished when Kayla's friend dies. Now the last level was left, the fifth level. Kayla begins to move towards the forest path. Kayla gets her mother's call in the interim. Her neighbor was talking on the call. Kayla asks that he get her mother to talk to her. He disagrees and doesn't let her talk to her. Kayla gets out of the car and starts to check the forest. After moving ahead, she finds a beautiful house. And as Kayla enters, it reveals to us that Hal is the only owner of this house. He first appears at the opening of the movie. He inquires about Kayla after noticing her presence. What are you doing here, exactly? Listening to this, Kayla says that I'm a game player, and I didn't come here. I've been sent by the game. Later, Hal's wife is seen sitting in front of him in a terrible condition. Later, we learn that Hal claims that the game asked him, that I'll leave you if you make my, the game's copies. We can learn how Kayla's friend gets this game. Moreover, a lot of other people might have this game. In Kayla's phone, the fifth level, the last level starts, and Hal's son flees after hearing this sound. Kayla is now required to defeat the boss in the game. Hal rags when he hears this because in his opinion, he is the boss, a villain, and Kayla is the hero. He rags after seeing this, Kayla holds the knife that was placed on a table. He slams a plate on Kayla's head before this. From his plate attack, thus Kayla remains unaffected. Hal actually suffers an injury. It implies that Hal will be hurt, not Kayla when he beats Kayla. Hal will be hurt when Kayla beats herself. As soon as Kayla understands this, she uses the knife to remove her hand. She doesn't hurt but Hal's hand detached. Hal's son arrives in the interim and shoots Kayla. Because of this, Kayla has no effect rather his father has been affected. Hal's wife understands the situation. That's why after snatching gun from her son's hand, she comes to kill Kayla. Because she knows that if she kills Kayla her husband will die. Actually, she was fed up with her husband, and wanted to kill him. She wants to do this because Hal has tortured her till now. Now, Hal's wife was about to shoot Kayla. Meanwhile, Hal comes there and takes the gun from her. He was about to shoot himself but there was no bullet. As a result, he didn't die, he had no effect. Meanwhile, Hal's son arrives with a knife but Hal takes that knife from him. 
He beheads himself and as a result, Kela hurts. It means Kela's neck removed. Later, after taking a stone, Kela jumps into the water. Hal's body starts to shed water as a result of the water entering Kela's body. They both die, and then we see Kela doesn't die, her life saves. The game ends and Hal's wife thanks her as she comes out for saving her life from her husband. Later, it is revealed that Kayla received a reward for winning the game, whereby she may manage the curse greater than her according to her way. Later, after hacking the phone of her neighbor who always teased her, she includes him in the game after trapping him. She challenges him and then brutally murders him. Later, Kayla receives a call from a man who is the owner of the company where Kayla worked. He questions Kayla that whom she wants to hurt by this game. She says I'll only hurt those who are evil and deserve pain. The film ends with the statement of Kayla.